So what we have here is a system of equations. The first equation is a quadratic equation. The second one is a linear equation. How can we solve this system? Well, we're going to solve this by substitution. Notice that in both cases, we have an equation that equals y. And we have another equation that equals y. So because they both equal y, we can set them equal to each other. So we'll start with this expression, y equals y. And I'm going to replace the y on the left with that equation, negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. Now on the right side, we also have a y, and I'm going to replace that with the second equation. So now we can solve for one variable. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for x. So I'm going to move everything from the right side to the left side. To do that, I'm going to subtract both sides by x and by 1. So the 1's will cancel, and the same is true for x and negative x. So we're going to have negative x squared on the left side, and then 4x minus 1x, which is positive 3x. All of that's going to equal 0. Now I'm going to multiply every term by negative 1. So this is going to change to positive x squared, and the 3x will now become negative 3x. Now, what do we need to do to solve this equation? Our next step is to factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor. And so we're going to factor out an x. x squared divided by x, that's x. And then negative 3x divided by x, that's going to be negative 3. So now we're going to set each factor equal to 0 using the zero product property. So we have x is equal to 0. And then if we set the other factor, x minus 3 equal to 0. Once we add 3 to both sides, we'll get that x is equal to positive 3. Now, in order to solve this system, we need to get the corresponding y values for each x value. And we can get them by plugging in either into the first or the second equation. But since the second equation is a lot easier, we're going to use that. So plugging in 0 into this equation, we have 0 plus 1, which is 1. And then plugging in 3 into that equation, we have y equals 3 plus 1, which is 4. So now we're going to write this solution as an ordered pair. So x is 0, y is 1. And then for the second solution, we have an x value of 3 and a y value of 4. So those are the two points that represents the solution to this system. Now, in order to check our answers graphically, what we're going to do is we're going to graph these two equations. And we're going to find the points of intersection. If our answers are correct, these two graphs, they will intersect at these two points, 0, 1, and 3, 4. Now, if you go to Google and you type in online graphing calculator, this should come up. Or you can go to desmos.com slash calculator. And so what we're going to do is we're going to graph the two equations that we had. So the first one is y is equal to negative x squared plus 4x plus 1. And then if you press enter, you can type in the other graph, y equals x plus 1. So I'm going to zoom in. And you can see the first point, which is which has an x value of 0 and a y value of 1. If you hover over it, it'll show you 0, 1. Now the next point of intersection is 3, 4. And these are the two points that we've calculated analytically. So that's how you can check your work. You can find the answers by simply graphing the two equations and finding the points of intersection. Now, let's try another example. So let's say we have this equation, y is equal to x squared 
minus 10x plus 13. And we also have y is equal to. This is going to be negative 3x squared. plus 14x minus 7. So now we have a system of quadratic equations. We have two quadratic equations here. So go ahead and solve this system using substitution, just like we did in the last problem, and then check your answers graphically. So we're going to follow the same format. We have two equations that both equal y, so we can set them equal to each other. So let's start with y is equal to y. And then we'll set the first equation, x squared minus 10x plus 13, equal to the second equation, negative 3x squared plus 14x minus 7. Now what do you think we should do here? Should we move everything to the left side or everything to the right side? I recommend moving everything to the left side so we can get a positive x squared term. So I'm going to add 3x squared to both sides. That will get rid of the x squared on the right side. And then I'm going to subtract both sides by 14x. So it will get rid of everything with an x on the right side. And then I'm going to add 7 to both sides. So basically negating everything on the right side. So these will cancel, the 14x will cancel, and the same is true for 7 and negative 7. So here we have 1x squared plus 3x squared, that's going to be 4x squared, and then negative 10 minus 14, that's going to be negative 24 times x, and then 13 plus 7, that's going to be positive 20. And all of that is going to equal 0. Now notice that each coefficient is a multiple of 4. So what that means is that we can divide every term by 4. So we're going to get x squared, and then negative 24 divided by 4, that's negative 6 and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So we get x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now, we need to factor this trinomial. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to positive 5, but add to negative 6. So we know 1 times 5 is 5, but negative 1 and negative 5, which will still multiply to positive 5, these two will add up to negative 6. So to factor it, it's going to be x minus 1 times x minus 5. Now we could set each factor equal to 0. So add in 1 to both sides, we get x is equal to 1. And add in 5 to both sides, we get x is equal to 5. So these are two x values. Now to get the corresponding y values, we need to plug it in to one of these equations. Now the first equation looks more simpler than the second one, so I'm going to plug this into the first equation. We're going to get y is equal to 1 squared minus 10 times 1 plus 13. So that's 1 minus 10 plus 13. Negative 10 plus 13 is positive 3, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So we get the ordered pair 1 comma 4. So that's our first solution. Now let's take our second x value and let's plug it in to the first equation. So we're going to have y is equal to 5 squared minus 10 times 5 plus 13. 5 squared or 5 times 5, that's 25. 10 times 5 is 50. And 25 minus 50 that's negative 25. Negative 25 plus 13 is negative 12. So we get the ordered pair 5 comma 
negative 12. So these are two solutions highlighted in red. 1 comma 4, 5 negative 12. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check our answers graphically. We're going to graph it like we did before and see if these two points are indeed the points of intersection of the two graphs. All right, so let's go ahead and delete these two equations. And let's type in our new one. So we have y is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 13. And for the second one, y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 14x minus 7. OK, I'm going to zoom out. So here's the first point of intersection, 1 comma 4. So that was the first solution that we got. And the second one is at 5, negative 12. So we know our answers are correct. And so that's how you can check your work graphically. You could also even solve this system graphically by simply graphing it and finding the points of intersection. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to solve systems of quadratic equations.